The West Point treatment plant was built in 1966 and expanded to include secondary treatment in 1994. The plant treats the wastewater from about 750,000 people living and working in the Seattle and Shoreline areas. The average person in our service area uses 70 to 100 gallons of water every day, sending about 90 million gallons of wastewater into West Point, enough to fill nearly 140 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Most rainwater in our region goes directly into the nearest water body untreated. West Point receives and treats both storm and sanitary flows combined. During heavy rains, combined flows can enter West Point at a rate of up to 440 million gallons in one day. Hello, I'm Al Williamson. I'm the assistant manager here at the West Point Treatment Plant. Located north of downtown Seattle, adjacent to Discovery Park, West Point was put into service in 1964 and covers 32 acres. West Point is staffed 24 hours a day, every day of the year. It takes 147 employees to operate and maintain the treatment plant, pipes, and pump stations that are part of this system. The main control room monitors plant operations. Main control also monitors external activities that may affect plant operations, monitoring storms, power outages, tides, etc. The lab is staffed seven days a week and is responsible for analyzing and reporting on the quality of water entering and leaving the plant. The lab will test to determine the level of solids and fecal coliforms removed and reduction in biochemical oxygen demand levels. The wastewater enters the plant here. Trash is screened out and sent to the landfill. This material is composed mostly of plastics, rags, and other things such as personal wipes that are advertised as flushable. After the trash is removed, air is injected into the flow. This allows sand and grit to settle out while keeping the organic waste, human waste and food waste, suspended in the water. Much of this sand and grit enters the system due to cracks and tree root intrusion in side sewers. Side sewers are pipes that transport wastewater from private property to the wastewater system. Approximately three truckloads of grit and one truckload of trash are removed from the water each week by these processes. This is where the flow is slowed down to allow organic matter to settle to the bottom and oil and greases to float to the surface. These materials are collected and treated separately. West Point uses a high purity oxygen activated sludge treatment process. This is used to grow bacteria and create a biomass that consumes the organic waste in the wastewater. Secondary clarifiers are where the biomass is separated from the water. Sodium hypochlorite, a stronger form of regular household bleach, is added to the water to kill pathogenic bacteria. Dechlorinization occurs when sodium bisulfite is added to neutralize residual hypochlorite in the water before the water is pumped into Puget Sound. A portion of the final effluent is recycled through a tertiary treatment process, sand filtration, and that water is reused in the plant for various processes. Gravity belt thickeners are used to concentrate organic solids removed in primary and secondary treatment. Concentrated solids are biologically decomposed in digesters for approximately one month. Anaerobic bacteria convert organic waste into nutrient-rich biosolids and biogas. Biogas can be recycled as fuel or converted to heat or electricity. West Point has three pumping stations inside the plant. Its influent pumping station utilizes what are called reciprocating engines that burn biogas generated on site by our digesters. The heat energy that is recovered from these engines is in turn used to heat the plant and to support plant processes. Digested sludge is dewatered with high-speed centrifuges to produce biosolids for farm, forest, and garden soils. West Point recycles four to five truckloads or about 120 tons of biosolids every day. This facility is funded through water bills the water and sewer rates paid monthly support drinking water systems, pipes in the cities and neighborhoods, and the wastewater treatment facilities. So that's the West Point Treatment Plant. We've been treating wastewater and protecting the environment since the 1960s.